My name is Rich Harrington for the Creative Cow Photoshop Podcast, and today we're going to take a look at a cool Photoshop magic trick. In this case, I've got a photograph that took two images to capture. Now, this is at the Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., and I was trying to quickly capture this robot or first android that was created. The challenge here, though, was that the space was pretty tight, so I couldn't get the whole image from top to bottom. Now, to make things even a little bit more impressive, I purposely did a bad job. Notice how the two pictures aren't even straight. But watch what we can do. With both images selected here in Adobe Bridge, I'll choose Tools, Photoshop, Photo Merge. You can also invoke the Photo Merge command from inside of Photoshop under the Automate menu. Now, I'll choose the Auto method and tell it to apply Vignette Removal to remove any darkening at the edges, Geometric Distortion Correction to angle the photos as needed, and Content-Aware Fill to remove any transparent areas, as well as to blend the two images together. Let's click OK. You'll notice that it's going to analyze the image and do a pretty cool job. It takes the two layers, loads them into one document, and then does this magic. Let's break that down. If we look at this, it's pretty cool. You'll see that it took the two photographs and bent them so to line things up. It then merged them together with Content-Aware Fill and filled in the missing areas. Now, I want to enhance this a bit. Let's start and try to enhance things with a smart object. So I'll click and convert this to a smart object. Now I can run filters non-destructively. So let's do the first one here with Adaptive Wide Angle. This starts to fix any curvature, and you'll notice that you can actually draw to add your own straight lines, which is pretty helpful. I see a little curvature here on this inner line, so we'll fix that. And do the same over here, like so. And now we've got more straight lines, which is pretty cool. And I can click OK. You see it did some good correction. Now let's try the Camera Raw filter. What I want to do in this case is switch to the Transform tool and you'll see that we can use the Guided Upright. Now what I can do is easily define any straight lines inside the photograph. So I'll do one here at the top and bottom edge, like so, and then draw some vertical lines. And it starts to fix the perspective. If needed, you can drag that into a better position. Once the curve was removed, you see it was very simple to define the straight lines. That's pretty amazing. Now, let's go ahead and click OK. And you see it updates. I really like that. But we have some transparent areas again. So, easy enough. Let's just duplicate this layer. There we go. And I'll right click to rasterize it. Now, command click to load, it selects the layer. I'll choose select inverse and expand that just a little bit. And you'll see that it makes the nice selection here. Now we can invoke edit and content aware fill again. Just make sure the layer is active. And it will create new pixels for that missing area. Not bad. Now, let's fix the exposure and the contrast. To do this, I like to take advantage of Luminar Flex. It uses AI, and it can really enhance detail and exposure. Now, there are a lot of different options to choose from, but I'll just go to the Professional category here and choose the AI Auto Enhancer. You'll notice it did a nice job on the Develop filter. I really like that, and I'm going to pop up the clarity just a bit. And Accent AI just analyzed exposure and color and really gets the full dynamic range. There is no Sky Enhancer here, but I'm going to add another filter called Details Enhancer. And this lets me put in extra details. If we take a look at the fine details here, you'll see small, medium, and large. So some small details, and not too much in the medium or large areas, and we're really bringing back some of the missing detail in the image. It looks so much better. It looks quite a bit more solid, but I'm going to choose to remove a color cast here, 
and I can get rid of any color cast in the image itself to help neutralize some of the shading that's not wanted. Now in this case, there is a strong blue cast because there's supposed to be. It's part of the original color. And if I want to finesse this, we can add an adjustment layer and explore some of these cool presets for different looks. I'll go on over to the creative section here and I'm going to try a blockbuster look, which is a very filmic look with a classic teal and orange LUT. All right, I like that. Let's just back that off ever so slightly. Looks good. And I'll click apply and we have our new image. So, as you see, super easy to enhance the details. We went from two separate pieces, blended them together, filled in the missing areas, and removed the distortion by taking advantage of two different filters, adaptive wide angle first to remove the curves, and camera raw with transform to fix the perspective. Then the power of AI with Luminar Flex quickly enhanced the color and the tone. So as you see here, a whole lot of Photoshop magic, both with the built-in tools and a cool third-party plugin that made it really easy to get the best detail and to put all these pieces together the right way. My name's Rich Harrington. I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net to check out all sorts of cool options about your favorite digital tools. And a big thanks to our partner, Luminar Flex, which is a super cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop. I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching.